in this question we have to find the outer perimeter of this figure and it is given in the question that it's made up of six small identical squares and the side of each square is given as one unit all right so this is the length that we have to find out now this is the figure that we have over here now to solve this question in the best possible manner let's shift this square over here a bit in this direction and this square over here a bit in this direction now if i do that you will see that if i take this side to here this side over here will come over here all right because these two are identical all these six squares are identical you can see the same thing happening over here right these two are identical that's why when you place them side by side they have this side in common right so if i move this square in this direction till over here and similarly move this square till over here in this direction i get the shape like this right now i need to find out the outer perimeter you will see that the outer perimeter of this figure and the outer perimeter of this figure will be the same because whatever distance i lost over here because i moved this in this direction i gained over here right because over here it has increased and over here it has decreased so there is no change and then these sides are the same over here and over here and that's the same case over here as well whatever i've lost over here i've gained over here right so that's what you can see over here now it's very easy to find the outer length of this shape right you just need to count the number of sides so that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 you have 12 units on the outside and each side is of one unit so the outer perimeter of this figure is 12 into 1 which is equal to 12 units all right now let's check what is tested in this question you need to know the basics of a square a square is a polygon with four sides and the four sides are equal and these angles are 90 degree right and again remember over here you have to approach the question in a smart manner so that is also tested because they have given the shape like this you should know that you can easily find the answer by moving the square this one over here in this direction and this square a bit in this direction do check the description to know more about my gmat math live bootcamp and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next video